Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn is the sort of sequel sort of rehash to 2016 Suicide Squad. In it, a young psychology intern is... You know what? The story really isn't that important here. All you need to know is that Harley and Joker broke up, a lot of bad guys want Harley dead, she takes a job, things don't go to plan, hijinks ensue. Look, let's be honest, Suicide Squad was a mess, but I think we can all agree that Margot Robbie's portrayal of the clown princess of crime was by far the best thing to come out of it. So giving her her own film was definitely a smart move. It allowed the writers to narrow in on what was working, and unlike Suicide Squad, this film actually knows what kind of tone it's going for. What tone is that, you ask? Well, let's say it's nothing like Joker or Dark Knight. There's no deep commentary about society, or even a hint of any kind of seriousness. The characters are zany, the dialogue is genuinely funny, and the action scenes are so ridiculous I was laughing out loud in the theatre multiple times. Hell, even the gore, which is pretty brutal at times, is done in such a dark comedic way that it's impossible to just not laugh. And that's the point. This movie wants you to have fun, and I was having fun the whole time. Harley Quinn is at her best when she's not with the Joker, and this movie allows her to fully shine as a character. I mean, yes, this is technically a team-up movie, but really it's the Harley Quinn show. So if you didn't like her in Suicide Squad, or you'd like your comic book movies with plenty of Batman seriousness, then you're probably not going to enjoy this. But if you're like me, then you'll come out of the cinema saying one thing. That was fucking stupid. I really enjoyed it.